actually enjoyed it. I was holding him a while ago. I was trying to foul him actually. Hindi ko siya mafoul ang lakas ng lumakas si Jun Mar. Like talagang condition siya. And your message for your fans, of course, na paharami parin nila. To all the, you know, to all the community fans, to all the uh, SPP fans, to all the people, uh, Gilas fans, to all the people that have supported me throughout the years. Maraming maraming salamat po. Sana makita tayo ulit in another game or two. But if this was the last, maraming maraming salamat. Thank you so much, Alex. Alex, just uh, I, I missed uh, the first part. Okay. Uh, how's it, how does it feel to be uh, to be the villain? <laughs> the villain? No. Um, actually, when the when Coach Chris told me that Meg agree on Gilas to tune up against us, I was actually shocked. I was like, really? I mean, they're gonna leave now, so you would think that they want to be injury free and healthy going into their their destination. So it was it was a blessing. Um, you know, God works in mysterious ways. And nakalabang ko yung mga guys nito. And as you guys know, I coached some of these guys at NBTC. <laughs> That's a long time ago. I coached them 2018. I see Gio Chu, see uh, that guy right there. I coached, uh, I coached against him. I see Jalen Green nandito. I coached them. So for me to play, be playing against them, it's amazing. It's, I see Kim Bao, the coach, he was under the All-Star team, under us. It's a lot of feeling. It's a lot of feeling. It's a lot of feeling. How much do you miss the Filipino crowd, especially oh. the last minute? <laughs> you know, uh, the Philippines, the crowd, I mean, I've been in Korea and I've been in Taiwan and I've been in China. So nothing beats mga Pinoy uh, crowds. Uh, yung sobrang addicted natin sa basketball. So I told my teammates that. Uh, when we get to the Philippines and we play against these uh, in front of a big crowd like this, they just they absorb you and they they just the crowd is amazing. Wala kama sa sabi. Talagang alam mo naman masarap maglaro kung madami. There's some mixed emotions until that you're once again facing against your former teammate Jun Marquardt. No, I actually enjoyed it. I was holding him a while ago. I was trying to foul him actually. Hindi ko siya mafoul ang lakas ng lumakas si Jun Mar. Like talagang condition siya and you know I'm a Junmar for order for me ever since going through and uh, uh, for me Junmar like every time guys that I played with were playing kahit papano kahit I was in Korea kahit sila Chris Ross or kahit na nasa ibang bansa ako so nang support ko talaga sila even Newsom I support him because I seen his growth and I'm, I'm still a fan just like everybody of you guys, talagang nanonood ako, nagchichir ako, talagang... I went to game three, I think, of the finals, tapos talagang... It's fun to be a fan. Rex, ano masabi mo sa composition ng gilas ngayon? Galing. May shooters, may penetrators, talagang triple threat sila. Tapos malalaki sila sa loob. You know Brownlee's a beast, man. Brownlee, uh, he's just a beast. And, Hindi mo naman sila pwede maiwan kasi knockdown shooter sila. I think we were getting close kanina tapos they hit two three pointers in a row. Sabi ko kanila, ito na to. And alam mo na pasok na pasok kasi they they move the ball so well. Nanonood lang tayo parang oh magaling nga, magaling nga. But when you actually play against them and you're running up and down the court with them, it's like oh shh, galing talaga nila. Talaga na feel mo mm. yung camaraderie nila ng uh, the way they their team work in chemistry nila talagang dami nang nadukod siya talagang they're not playing they're playing a pretty tough 7-6 uh, guys si Sam Adikara he's, he's just an import and madami kang mga import na kalaban na nila si si Oscar Lopez nakalaban nila versus sa SEA Games so it's not like you know we didn't come here to just slouch over and you know, we wanted to compete and we wanted to you know have a nice sparring you know, good thing na pinili kami as a sparring partner.